It's a wig, y'all. Period. Put your wig cap on. Like so. Once you do that, make sure it's over the ears. Start spraying on your got to be free spray or whatever you have. And make sure that's dry. I'm going to do the whole front of my forehead. And make sure it's dry. Then, after I'm done doing that, I'm going to cut the ears out on my um, wig cap. This is a crucial part to making a bald cap. You need to cut the ears out so that you can lay the sides of your wig cap down. So it's not sticking up and so it dries correctly when trying to lay down your ball cap. Make sure you cut the ears out. Go back over it with the spritz um, free spray and make sure that's dry. Now after that, I take the got to be glue styling gel and I put that over top of all of the free spray because the free spray it makes your it makes your ball cap hard and I don't like that. I want my ball cap to be a little bit soft and I feel like it secures and snatches your ball cap even better. So I use that and make sure that's dry. And after I'm done that, I'm starting to cut my ball cap. I'm gonna cut my ball cap to as close to a resemblance to my hairline as possible. Just try your best. It doesn't have to be exactly how your hairline is, obviously. But just try to do, like, the best resemblance you can. And after you do that, let's just wait. I'm taking a long time. Period. As close as you can. After I do that, I'm going to take some uh, powder, some makeup powder. It can be... Um, the color of your skin or it can be a little bit lighter it doesn't matter just make sure you blend that to make it look like a ball cap i like to put two caps on because i feel like it just holds everything down better now it's time to put this lace front on girl you see i got my scissor vibes coming in now first thing i want to do is try to align the lace front to my actual hairline to see where i'm going to lay everything and sometimes you might have to go back and recut that ball cap so that it's not showing as you can see that's what i had to do and after i do that i'm going to put the um the lace front glue that i had on in this video i don't remember but i'll probably show a picture of the one that i'm using and after i do that i'm going to smear it around I'm just using a little comb that I found from, uh, it's actually my edge brush comb. But if you have something better, use something better to spread around that glue. After it dries a little bit, not all the way, and it takes, like, it's not, doesn't take that long to dry, so you don't have to wait for a while for it to dry. I do two coats. So after the first coat dries, I do a second one. And then that's when I start to put my lace front on. Um, now just align the hairline with the glue or whatever. Just do what I'm doing and you should be good. You got this girl. Okay, so after I aligned my lace front onto my forehead or whatever, what did I do next? Let's see. That's what I know. Oh, I cut the lace. Duh. So, to cut the lace, I'm using these small pair of scissors. Um, I'm cutting it in parts because it's just easier. But, to actually, like, cut the lace off from the lace front, I take, like, this little blade. It's like an eyebrow blade. I take that and use that instead of scissors because it's less straight. You want to have, like, ragged, ragged edges when trying to, like, cut the lace off because you don't want it to look too fine you want it to blend in or whatever but that's the steps on how i put my lace fronts on yeah i wasn't gonna talk while i was doing my makeup but i guess i shall so this is just a natural makeup um tutorial basically i'm just concealing my dark spots i'm putting concealer on my dark spots um and then i put my foundation on and i'm using a beauty blender but most of the times, I like to use a 
brush a foundation brush to like pat on my foundation but when i want my foundation to look more natural i use a beauty blender then i conceal um under like under my eye and my chin and my forehead down my nose and um certain areas on my neck concealing your face is a big deal if you don't do it get into it Once I blend that in, my concealer, I'm going to take my, what is it called? Baking powder. I'm going to take my baking powder and I'm going to put it in the exact same spots that I put the concealer. This is going to help everything just set in, you know, you want it to stay. You don't want anything to crease or none of that. So you want that concealer to set in and just bring out that glow, the concealer glow. And after I do that, I pat in my baking powder. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't wipe. I don't brush away my um, baking powder because I don't like the way that looks afterwards. So I just pat it into my skin, as you can see. Time for these lashes, baby. Okay, so y'all know I don't be remembering stuff. Um, but I'm just going to show a picture of the lashes that I'm using in this video. They're really natural. I love these lashes. Whenever I'm going for like a natural look, I don't want to be too dramatic. These are the lashes I like. 